What is up guys, I thought I'd make a quick video today because I promised you guys a video for tonight and as you can see I'm not at my, sorry my camera's a little shaky, I gotta fix my sock. Ow. Don't you hate when it like snags on your toenail, but anyway. Yeah, um, I'm at my uh, other house in Harrisburg, um, about to go outside, probably throw baseball a little bit or something. But um, yeah, so my video today is going to be about my one of my greatest comeback stories, not like a score deficit but like a you know like triumphant return comeback story so I took a I did a speech on it in English class Mrs. Russell period four you guys should know period three period three no was it period three yeah period four lunch was period five so period four <laughs> Miss Russell period four class you should know but um Bruh. yeah so story is it first happened it was both of my knees actually but it's mainly affecting my left one now. Like my right one was the most recent one. Yeah, my right one was the most recent one. It was like two, three, no, three years ago. My, my right one happened. And my left one is the one acting up now. So let's cut to the story. So in 20, I think it was 2011, it happened the first time. We were, I was on the um, Little League team for Wall and Pakistan, which is literally a block from my house where I'm at now. And um, we were taking BP. Because our practices consisted of fielding, BP, pitching, you know, normal normal stuff. So we were taking BP in the outfield, soft toss into the fence, you know. And um, I was in a divot, and my front leg, kind of like, I don't know if you can see, but like, my leg went this way, like, rotated weird, and my body went another way. And I was with my one friend, Owen. Uh, he's about the same height as me. He's probably an inch taller now. He lives in one of the Carolinas. I don't remember which one. But his high school is Ashley Ridge. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. But, um wrestler football player a good kid but um yeah uh and I just went down and I couldn't get up my mom had to pick me up and uh you know they took me they walked me across the line just to see if I could walk it off because we had no idea what happened it was all, it was the first time it happened and we had um no idea so she she was like holding me with both of her arms you know like you do when someone has a leg injury of one person like holding their arm like this on one side and then one on the other side trying to get them to not put pressure on their injured knee she was doing that but um and then we were doing outfield practice and <coughs> I couldn't I couldn't run so they gave me some Motrin and uh they just had me shag well not shag but catch like not actually get the stance you know like when you take infield before the game starts you just have the, per the catcher just you know catching throwing in balls but they had me doing that so um yeah I had to play I mean I wanted to play I didn't want to I get mad when I get injured I don't cry when I get injured I get mad when I get injured because like why me like, you know but um yeah so our first game I just got athletically taped um and then we played Susquehanna and we won 18 to 15. <coughs> yeah, 18 to 15. You know that's Little League. But um that was one of my best games I've ever played in Little League. <laughs> but um Yeah, and then the next year, when did it happen again? Oh, same year. Same year. No, it's only happened three times. Two to my right, one to my left. But my left was my first one. So the next practice. I think. Yeah, the next practice. It happened again, but we were doing BP in the cage. This is a lot to remember. We were doing BP in the cage, and uh, our cage was behind our left field fence. So it was kind of a far walk, so they brought the uh, tractor out, and they just put me in the trailer. <laughs> so I was redneck, and I was, I was redneck in it. <laughs> but I was nowhere near in redneck town. I was more in a, how do I word this nicely? Boom, boom town. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. And then the last most recent time it happened, I'm trying to remember the exact date. I think it was July 14th. Something like that. It was the last game of rec season. I was 14 playing with the 16-year-olds for Lower Dolphin. And um, it was our last game of the season. You know? That was the best rec team I've ever played on. And my one friend Justin was like, I never had a chili dog before, coach. We should have a chili dog party. So what does he do? The second to last game when we're at home buys chili dogs. And Justin's like, you're the best coach. But, um, yeah, so, that team had, like, Connor Buggy, Skyler Swartz, 
Greg Kahn. Um, he goes to the East. Uh, shoot, who else? Tommy Bramley, Nate Hoffman, Dylan Henry. Uh, uh, shoot, Derek Wild, Clay Spencer. No, Brent Spencer. Brent Spencer. Um, Jake Giesman. And I'm trying to remember who else. I can't remember who else, but um, that's that was that team. And um, so it happened. I was pitching. We were playing Lower Sweater at Little I don't know if it's Little Hollywood or whatever field it was called, but it was in the middle of cornfields and everything. But uh, yeah, I was pitching. Uh, we were losing one to nothing after the first inning, but I picked them off at second, so that ended the inning. Um, and then we come up. You know, I was third, batting third that inning, or fourth. No, I was batting fourth. Because <laughs> Skyler let it off with a single, and he took a selfie on first base. But, uh, yeah, so I was coming up to bat. Uh, no. The batter's box looked pretty smooth, but I guess it wasn't. There was a hole, and, uh, I went to swing. First pitch was a ball. Took that. Second pitch, hanging curveball. I got under it. I didn't pop it up. I, I hit a line drive right back at her first base coach. And the next thing you know, I'm on the ground. Like, I could feel it. My leg went numb. Like, I could feel it. And then I go down, and I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to not yell all these emotions. So I just yell, shit. And then I just don't say anything. I just didn't say anything after that. And then my one coach, who's a, uh, I think... He's a surgeon of some kind at the uh, medical center. I don't know what specific kind. Dr. Bramley, you know, he's a stud. Lives next to Miles Grader, if you know where he lives. But, um, yeah, he did some knee stability tests. And my mom's friend, who had a kid on the team that we were playing, said that she recommended physical therapy, which when I went to the doctor, that's what they recommended, too. So I went to Arlington Orthopedics, which this really sparked my interest for physical therapy. Like, I used to want to do sports medicine, but now I narrowed it down to physical therapy. Which the least I'd make would be 75 a year. The most I'd make would be 120 a year, depending on which level I am. Which, that's, that's pretty darn good. But, um, yeah. So Arlington, I think it was like I'd go three times, two, three times a week, every week, for like eight weeks. <coughs> so thank God the season was over. And, um... You know, I loved it. I would weight lift for free. Well, not for free, but the insurance paid for it. But I would get to weight lift like three times a week. I mean, yes, it was all legs and a little bit of arms. But, you know, it was fun. They'd always have the sports turned on. You know, they'd talk to me. And I got, and Dr. Grandrimo, he's the City Islanders uh, P, PT dude. I don't know what the heck they're called to him. But, uh, yeah, he did a Red Wings um, player two, one of the goalies, uh, Harrisburg Senators, PT, he's them too, but, uh, yeah, now when I had to continue to rehab it a little bit after PT, you know, just to get it, just to get it going, but yeah, so my next video most likely will be an MLB gameplay, don't know when it'll be, it'll either be an MLB gameplay or a Q&A, so if you guys can just comment questions below that I can write down and answer, Make them appropriate questions. Make them questions that are valuable. Like, you know, like not random stupid questions. Like, like, uh, oh, what's a random stupid question? Like, like, what is life? Don't ask that kind of question. Ask, like, I don't know, questions you want to know about me or the channel or my life. I don't know. Just make them appropriate at least. Just do that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, probably edit my room a little bit so the acoustics are a little better, maybe rearrange it. I'm at my old house. See, the AC's on, so I'm trying to not not uh, talk soft. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make a video real quick today about my uh, injury story. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get to 100. Boomer out.